Hello, greetings. Welcome to the Tim Borg Show. In this video, we're going to do a little review of two uh, AliExpress train sets. Um, this Kazi and the model number is that one, 98224, something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so it's a Maersk train in beige, and then this one as well, different brand, I think, um, and this one didn't come with the engine, so it's not a full train set, it didn't come with the motor and battery, oh, damn that dog, um, and that was number 25111, I'll put that in the description for people who were searching for it, anyway, um, yeah, so this one was like $70 Australian, that one's like $80 which I thought was uh, pretty expensive considering this one is better than that one. That's, that's the review conclusion, haha, <laughs> obviously. Um, yeah, actually I'm not the first person to make videos about both of these ones on YouTube, so um, I did watch all the other reviews that people had done of them. It's hard to find, actually, I mean, there's not many videos on YouTube for AliExpress bricks, so it's a bit of a... Uh, it's a bit of a travesty because there's a lot of um, AliExpress kits that don't have any reviews at all yet um, and I might continue making them because they're pretty good. Anyway, I'll show it to you working, just make sure that's not in the way. So this one works, the beige one, press this, make it go. That's on full speed right now. Um, it's got a light in there as well, but I think I didn't plug it in, obviously, to make it go faster. Um, yeah. So, these are both like copies of the original Lego Maersk train set, except for the fact that they're both different colours to the Maersk colour, for the base colour, like so they're variations, which obviously real Lego never made, so they're unique to that, like you know, the only way to get this diesel train in those two colour schemes is on AliExpress basically. Um, yeah, um, both of these kits didn't have any missing pieces, so that was a good thing. Uh, the Kazi came with this track here, which is the one which is identical to real Lego and fully compatible and looks the same. But um, the other one came with only a little bit of track, the blue one. And this track is still compatible with Lego, but as you can see it looks different. It's not even the same colour, it's light grey instead of dark grey. And they cheaped out the mould to save a little bit of plastic. Um, so it's on these cheaper sets. So that track's probably okay, I suppose, if you're going to use it on a mock where you're maybe going to have a tram and you're going to cover it in snot bricks, you won't notice, you know. But yeah, it doesn't match the rest of the Lego system. Although there could be times when you want to use light grey. Um, yeah, I was thinking of doing a space train, so maybe light grey could be that could be cool for a space train. Um, yeah, uh, uh, come, when it comes to this, I really like the look of it. That's why I actually bought the blue one first, because of this, uh, you know, dark, deep blue color and grey. It is, of course, the right color scheme for my favorite Lego stuff, which is of you know classic space. Um, so I thought this could be a cool classic space uh, freight train. But um, yeah, I've also ordered some more snot bricks. When I say snot bricks, I mean studs not on top, you know, the smooth ones. Um, so that are dark blue, like in a random pack from AliExpress. I'm going to try to like change the color of this and it, its carriages to blue. Because I, all I have to do is like replace those parts. So um, I was going to like swap the parts. I was thinking about swapping the parts around. I might do that as well. I don't know. But um, at the end of the day, it would look better. If the more carriages you have. Now you're probably wondering why I don't have all of these on the same track at the same time. And there's a reason for this, uh, which has got to do with like why I would, I've got to give separate review ratings on these. So I'll, I'll first just finish up with this Kazi one. I'll say, I'll give this like a nine out of 10 for value for money. The only thing they could have done better would have been provide a lithium ion battery with Bluetooth and a remote, um, which I would have been happy to pay an extra 10 or 20 bucks for maybe. I don't know, but the price, Point was perfect as a gift or as a you know collector. Um, this one's not good value, obviously for money, and um, there's a few problems with it which I'll get into. So I would say it's a five out of ten. 
Um, but I actually got, I complained and I got a bit of money back. So, because I thought the ad was misleading because I thought it was a full train set and stuff like that. So, um, you know. Also, there's a, a few like parts missing for the design. Um, and I mentioned that in the, the complaint to AliExpress as well. The re and that's, now I'm explaining why I'm not using this. I just stopped that train, sorry, so you can hear me. And I don't need to talk too loud now. This doesn't move around, as you can see. There should be a piece in there that makes it move, but it's just solidly connected. So if I connect these carriages, they don't go around these round tracks. As you can see, it's impossible to put it on there. It can only go onto a straight track. And um, also the wheels were, had a really weird axle that was hard to put together and they don't like move smoothly, but I might be able to fix that if I use a hammer. Um, the engine is good, except of course there is no electric motor in it or battery, um, but the design at the top here is also a bit stupid. And if I opened up the roof anyway, there wouldn't be enough room inside there to fit a battery. So if I wanted to motorize this, I'd have to like motorize this back one run a cord and have like a battery inside one of these freight boxes. I thought I could do that, so I might still do that. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of grey on it. Whereas this one's got a lot of beige in the same place. So maybe I could modify this and change that to all be blue or something like that. And, you know, get rid of those pieces and make it look spacey. Put some tra more trans yellow on it. It actually does have trans yellow at the back here. So that's good. Um, also, that kit came with this car because that is this here, this one. That looks identical to what you get in the full Lego kit that this is a copy of with the Merce. Uh, whereas this one didn't include the truck, I should call it, not a car. You know what I mean? This truck, the extra truck. This is the man that came with the Kazi one. Oops, just hang on a second. Sorry, it's gone black. Um, I to do that. There you go. Um, and he looks like real Lego, you can't tell except for when you pull him apart. And then you can see in the middle he's different. But uh, the other one, the blue one, came with these, these men here. And as you can see, there's no one's going to mistake that for Lego. It looks like crap. It doesn't look anything like a minifig. So that's another shitty thing about it. Um, but the brand that makes this do have a whole big series of different models you can buy and some of them are better value around the $45 mark Australian um, none of them include motors but the ones that are around $45 are probably much better value for money than this one they just charge that much for this because they knew that this train set and the other one that's the right color is Merck um, is more expensive like $95 or something or 100 so that's why I bought this one instead because it was like 20 bucks cheaper Anyhow, um, so this is a ripoff because they know the other two sets are popular. But it's like fake, almost, because it's just a dummy and it doesn't work. It's not a train set, you know, and a motor in it. And they even cheapened out on this so they don't go around corners. So I've got to add, add parts, modify it, fix the wheels up. So many things I've got to do just to get that to work. And I could have this as a carriage in front of that, and I tried to do that. But the motor inside this was not powerful enough because even this one like these wheels here some of them that one there particularly doesn't move smoothly for some reason that one there doesn't flow smoothly that one does that one doesn't and that one doesn't so half of them don't roll smoothly so how annoying is that like because i can't even just use it as a dummy train to make a long freight train unless i buy more parts like i have i've already ordered the parts i need to fix this so I saw in another video, there's one other video about the set, using this type of uh, flat, what do you call it, turntable plate. So I bought a 10 pack for $6. And that'll fix me up, and then I'll be able to make them work. Alright, yeah. But otherwise, it looks cool, it's pretty cool value for money. And um, I still spent less on this two things here than I would on one real Lego train set by heaps. Like I could buy another two or three of these and still have spent only about as much as a real one. Um, especially like the new Lego freight train that's out. That's $270 for the real genuine one. The new set, which I don't actually have, obviously. 
I got the passenger train, as you know. So, yeah. Well, if you don't know, please check out the other videos on my channel. All right, I better wrap up this video. It's gone for 10 minutes. That's pretty good for me. All right. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'll just start, start it back up. There we go. Do a little bit of last footage. Like it moving around. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I would say the quality of the bricks on this one is better than that one. They use cheaper bricks. You can see, like, things fall apart. And even the way I've got to mention that this is brick built 100%, all separate bricks, as you can see. But these carriages uh, are using the one piece mold for freight for the whole base. Now that I remove that, how much faster is it going? If I remove another one, it might go so fast that it might derail. Hope it doesn't derail. Don't fall off the table. Please! Okay, yeah, I'll slow it down. There's a knob here to slow down the speed. Oh, I think I slowed it down too much. There you go. Now it's going too slow. It still needs a certain amount of power or it's not going to... Oh, it's derailed. That would be why. Right there. <laughs> so, pretty good. Let's take a look at that closely. Very nice, huh? Turn it off. I'll show you where the battery is. Pull that off from the top here. Make sure I'm filming properly. There's the battery and I'm using the stand one right now. But I can upgrade this to a lithium ion Bluetooth one, you know, with other parts on AliExpress in the future and have a remote on it and stuff. That's the plan, of course, because that requires five AAA batteries, which you've got to pull this out when you, if it goes flat. And it's not much power either. Oh, that's funny, the light didn't come on even though it is on top. What if I try again now? Is the light going to come on now? How come I didn't see the light for the train? Oh well. There is a light in there. Oh yeah, I should show you that this, this part comes off and that's where the train driver goes. So, but then that's hard to get back on. I can't do it with one hand, see? Oh, I better conclude this video. Thanks for watching this video from the Timmy Borg Show. Please subscribe for more and check out the rest of my uh, Lego and fake Lego videos. Till next time, bye.